Here's a short digital adventure with our friends, the Cyber Family. This episode is about wireless sniffing. Here we are at Stubbs Cafe. Stubbs Cafe is very popular, especially among younger customers. And this is David Cyber, the eldest child in the Cyber Family. David has made a habit of stopping at Stubbs nearly every morning before his classes start at the university. He usually gets a cup of coffee and studies for about an hour. Because Stubbs Cafe has Wi-Fi, David will also connect to the internet and take care of any online business that he might have to take care of. But David isn't the only person connected to the Wi-Fi at Stubbs. One of the other network users is a cyber criminal named Eavesdropping Eve. I'm listening. Eavesdropping Eve has a program on her computer that allows her to view wireless traffic for any computer that's connected to the same network that she is. When Eve intercepts other people's wireless traffic, this is called wireless sniffing. It's important to realize that Eve doesn't have to be in Stubbs Cafe to connect to the wireless network at Stubbs. Under everyday conditions, most wireless routers can transmit in at least 100 feet in every direction. Here's what a broadcast radius of 100 feet looks like in comparison to a football field. Eve could sniff wireless traffic from a neighboring building or from across the street. Under especially good conditions, where there aren't many obstacles to block the radio waves, a wireless router might be able to broadcast up to 300 feet. So it's possible that Eve could sniff wireless traffic from the next block over. In fact, if eavesdropping Eve has special equipment, she might be able to detect a wireless router from thousands of feet away. So it's even possible that Eve could sniff wireless traffic from a different neighborhood in the same town. Why does it matter that Eve can intercept David's Wi-Fi traffic? Well, the problem is that Stubbs Cafe uses an unencrypted Wi-Fi signal. This is more convenient for customers, because with unencrypted Wi-Fi, customers don't have to enter a password to connect to the internet. But it also means that the connection is unsecure. If the Wi-Fi signal were encrypted, then the connection would be scrambled in a special way so that only David's computer could read David's internet traffic. But because the Wi-Fi is unencrypted, the traffic is unscrambled. That means that Eve's computer is capable of reading David's internet traffic. This includes things like usernames and passwords. One day, David was at home and he remembered that he needed to check his bank statement. So David logged into his online bank account. Oh no! Somehow, somebody had gotten access to David's personal accounts. That person had pulled all of the money out of David's savings account, and they had also spent all of the credit available on his credit card. Because of this, David was in debt $5,000. Now David has no idea who got into his personal business, and he's not sure how they did it. But knowing what we know, I think we have a pretty good idea of who is responsible. <laughs>